Hey y'all, I'm doing this faux lock tutorial and I'm just showing y'all that I pre braided my hair in sections or whatever. And right here I'm showing y'all the hair. That's the free dress hair in deep twist, 22 inches. I got it in color 99J. And then right here I'm showing you the twist that I the hair that I used to do the twist. And it says Zuri Molly on there. It didn't say the inches, but it's like a 1B and burgundy color. And then I also picked up another brand of hair by um, Queen, I think it says on there. I'm not really sure, but it was 18 inches and it's the same color, 1B burgundy. So I'm just showing you that here and then I'll come back when I am actually twisting up my hair. I don't know what I was saying. <laughs> Something's wrong with me. Yeah, but right now I'm just hanging out there. I'm on my own, broken along. I feel the rain crashing down. All around this empty town. I'm searching for the lost and found. But you don't care. Town. I'm searching for the lost and found But you don't care, you're unaware Keep moving like the scars aren't even there It's I race y'all, so I'm back and basically, what you see me doing here is I had crocheted the free twist, um, deep twist hair through the braid. And then I'm adding the Marley hair or whatever kind of hair, like the Cuban twist hair. I am crocheting that through as well. But I leave a little piece at the base of my braid. And I take the longest piece of hair and I wrap it around. I just keep wrapping and wrapping until I reach a certain part in the braid. Like... You pretty, you pretty much wrap as long as you want the faux lock to be. So, if you want a short faux lock, wrap a little bit of hair. If you want a longer, you need to leave out more hair or use two pieces of Marley hair. Like, I don't know how to explain it, but as you can see, like, all I'm doing is wrapping the Marley hair around until I get to the bottom of the curl piece. I'm on my own, broken along. I feel the rain crashing down. All around. This empty town, I'm searching for the lost and found. But you don't care, you're unaware. Keep moving like the scars aren't even there. It's I'm on my own, broken along. I feel the rain crashing down. All around this empty town, I'm searching for the lost and found. But you don't care, you're on the way. As you guys can see right here, my face, like, I, when I seen this, I was like, oh my god, like, I'm not gonna like it. But in the end, I love it. So yeah, like, comment, and subscribe. All right, so right here, I'm taking some of the free tress hair, and I'm going to go ahead and crochet it at the base of the braid. As you can see, I took a piece and I staggered it so that one piece was longer, and I got the length that I want. So I crocheted it through. As you can see, I'm using a dollar crochet hook at the beauty supply store. 
I crochet it through and I pulled one in to the length that I wanted my um, full lock to be. And that's what I'm doing here. I'm just making sure it's um, even at the top. And so now I'm going to take the Marley hair or Cubitus hair, whatever hair that you're using. And I'm also going to crochet that at the base. But like I said earlier, leave one in shorter. But you want to leave enough to where the full lock won't slip. But it's secure, if that makes sense. So you just crochet it in and then you begin wrapping two or three times at the base. Also, I want to say that when I got to the end, I made sure it was frayed out, like stretched, and I used nail glue. Kiss um, Maximum Speed, or something like that, nail glue. I put a few drops, wrapped it, and rubbed it between my hands, um, palm rolled it, but um, it did get kind of hot and sticky, so let the glue dry a little bit, and then you palm roll it.
Everybody stop and shine. They try to break me, try to take me out, but I.